Hi, it's David and welcome to your lesson on comparing numbers. If you haven't yet seen the lesson on reading and writing numbers, I would do that one first because there's a few core principles in there which are really going to help you today. But if you're ready, let's get started. In 1930 and 1931, two big corporations in New York competed against each other to see who could build the tallest building in the world. The first building was the Chrysler Building, which was made in 1930. And the second building, made in 1931, became known as the Empire State Building. The Chrysler Building stood a massive 1,046 feet tall, whereas the Empire State Building was a whopping 1,454 feet tall. So my question to you is, which one is the tallest? Our comedy mime artist is going to keep us entertained while you go away and discuss that problem, so pause the video at any moment, go away, have a go at solving the problem, and when you've had a go at it, come back and we'll have a look at the solutions. Remember to use the apparatus that you've got, draw things, do calculations, whatever you want to do, to see how far you get. And when you solve it, or you get stuck, hit play and we'll carry on. Good luck. Let's have a look at how it's done. First thing to say, if these numbers are a little bit too large for you, then fast forward to the snake section, which is just coming up. Otherwise, keep watching. So the Chrysler building was 1,046 feet tall. The Empire State Building was 1,454 feet tall. One thing we could do is make these numbers with our place value disks. So the Chrysler building would look like this. It's got 1,000, it's got no hundreds, it's got four tens and six ones. Whereas the Empire State building has 1,000, four hundreds, five tens and four ones. So here you can see that it's actually the Empire State Building which is the biggest. And the key thing to realise here is we don't need to look at the ones or the tens. We only need to look at the thousands and the hundreds because the thousands are much bigger numbers than the hundreds. The hundreds are bigger than the tens and the tens are bigger than the ones. So when you're comparing the size of numbers, you need to start with the most significant digit first, which is the digit furthest on the left, the biggest number. So they both have a thousand. So then you look to the next column, which is the hundreds, and here you can see the Empire State Building has 400 and the Chrysler Building has none. We don't even need to look at the other coins because it doesn't matter how many tens or how many ones the Chrysler Building has, it will not be as big as the Empire State Building because the Empire State Building has four hundreds. Another way of looking at this would be with a place value chart. So we're looking at four digit numbers, so we're going to have units and tens and hundreds and thousands. The Chrysler building is one thousand, no hundreds, four tens and six ones, whereas the Empire State Building is one thousand, four hundreds, five tens and four ones. When you compare numbers, you need to start with the numbers furthest on the left, the most significant numbers of all. Because the numbers get bigger and more significant, the further to the left they go. So if we just look at the thousands, we can see they're the same, so that doesn't tell us anything. So after we compare that, we go to the next column, which is the hundreds. And here we can see that the Empire State Building has 400, but the Chrysler Building has zero. So the Empire State Building is bigger. It doesn't matter how many tens and ones there are, because tens and ones are smaller 
than hundreds. So when it comes to comparing numbers, start with the most significant digit. If they're the same, look at the next column, and if necessary, the next column and the next column, but you won't always need to. So the Empire State Building was the tallest building. Interestingly though, Chrysler thought he had the tallest building until right at the last minute, the Empire State Building chucked an airship mast at the top to clinch it. So now we've had a look at the problem with a four digit number, let's have a look at a few problems of different levels, some easy, some hard, so you can pick the problem which is right for you. Three snakes lived in a zoo. Sam the snake, Sid the snake, and Seth the snake. Sam was 3,033 millimetres long. Sid was 3,303 millimetres long. And Seth was 3,330 millimetres long. And the question is, which was the largest snake? If you want to make the problem easier for yourself, then use these numbers instead. Sam is 33 centimetres long, Sid is 3 centimetres long, and Seth is 30 centimetres long. And if you want to make the problem more difficult for yourself, then do it with decimals instead, where Sam is 3.033 metres long, Sid is 3.303 metres long, and Seth is 3.330 metres long. Now, depending on which numbers you choose will depend on which snake is the largest. It won't necessarily be the same snake for each of the different colour set of numbers. So choose the colour set of numbers for the problem which you think are going to find the most challenging and the most enjoyable for you. Have a go at that. Meanwhile, the snakes are going to slither around the screen, hit pause at any time, head off, solve the problem. When you're done, come back, hit play, and we'll discuss solutions. Off you go. So let's compare the size of our snakes. We have Sam, Sid, and Seth. And we're going to look at these using place value coins first. We'll be looking at the green numbers, and then we'll answer the blue section and then we'll answer the red section. So just look for the correct coloured pen to find the solution that you want to see. So feel free to fast forward through the bits that you don't need. But first of all, the green numbers were as follows. Sam was 33 centimetres long. Sid was three centimetres long. And Seth was 30 centimetres long. The number 33 can be made with three tens and three ones. 33. The number three is just made up of three ones. And the number 30 is just made up of three tens. So here we can see that Sam is the largest because he has three tens and three ones. Sid is the smallest because he only has three ones. He doesn't have any tens at all. And Seth is in the middle. He's got three tens, which is the same as Sam, but he doesn't have any ones. When you're comparing numbers, it's always useful to look at the most significant column first. Compare the tens before you compare the ones. If we just look at the tens, we can see that Sid is the smallest. Whereas Sam and Seth have the same number of tens, so we then have to look to their ones column to see who has the most. This can also be shown very clearly on a place value grid. Let's have a look at the numbers written on a place value grid. Sam was 33 centimetres long. Sid was three centimetres long. And Seth was 30 centimetres long. In order to compare these numbers, we need to compare the most significant column first, the most significant digits. The tens are 10 times bigger than the ones, so we only have to look at the tens to begin with. 
And we can see that Sam has three tens and Seth has three tens, but Sid has no tens. So Sid is the smallest. In order to see who's the largest, we then need to look at the ones as well. Sam has three ones and Seth has no ones. So Sam is the largest. The blue numbers were as follows. Sam was 3,033 millimetres long. Sid was 3,303 millimetres long. And Seth was 3,330 millimetres long. These numbers can be compared very easily using place value coins. So let's make each of the numbers. Starting with Sam, 3,033. Sid is made up of three thousands, three hundreds and three ones. And Seth is made up of three thousands, three hundreds and three tenths. To compare these numbers, we need to start looking at the most significant digits first. So those will be the digits in the thousands column, because remember, the numbers on the left hand side are the biggest and the numbers on the right hand side are the smallest. As you come across, each column is 10 times bigger than the column before. So if we compare the thousands, they're all the same. I'll show this by covering up the others. So if we just look at the thousands, we cannot see which is the biggest snake. But now if we look at the hundreds, we can now eliminate Sam. We can see that Sam is the smallest. Because Sid and Seth each have three thousands and three hundreds each, whereas Sam has three thousand but no hundreds at all. We don't need to look any further to see that Sam is the smallest. We do need to look further though to see who's the biggest out of Sid and Seth. To make it clearer, I'm just going to eliminate Sam's numbers. See that Seth is clearly bigger than Sid. They each have three thousands, they each have three hundreds, but Seth has three tens and Sid has no tens. We don't even need to look any further to know that Seth is the largest because it is irrelevant how many ones they have in their columns. It doesn't matter that Sid has three ones and Seth doesn't have any because ones are not as big as tens. Sid has no tens at all. So the fact that Seth has more than no tens, he has three tens, he's always gonna be bigger than Sid, no matter how many ones Sid has. This can also be shown very clearly using a place value grid. So our column headings will be units as the smallest, Tens are ten times bigger, hundreds are ten times bigger again, and thousands are ten times bigger again. Sam was 3,033 millimetres long. Sid was 3,303 millimetres long, and Seth was 3,330 millimetres long. So in order to compare numbers, often it's useful just to draw yourself a place value grid and write the numbers one underneath the other, making sure all of the digits are lined up properly. Now we start by comparing just the most significant digits first, because the thousands are the biggest numbers. They all have the same number of thousands, so we can't see which is bigger. So we now look at the next most significant digit, the hundreds. And here we can see that Sid and Seth have three hundreds and Sam has none. So Sam is the smallest. After comparing the hundreds, we then look at the tens and we can see that Seth has three tens and Sid has none. So Seth is the largest.
that's irrelevant how many ones they have because ones are not as big as 10. So far, we've only looked at column headings for thousands, hundreds, tens, and units. In later lessons, we're going to be learning about decimals and fractions, but if you did the red questions today, you're going to already need to know about them. So we're going to introduce it now. Ten times smaller than one is a tenth. 10 times smaller than a tenth is a hundredth, and 10 times smaller than a hundredth is a thousandth. If you don't understand that yet, don't worry, I will be covering that in my lesson on fractions coming up in a few weeks' time. But let's assume for now that you are happy with that. Here's how you would go about answering the questions. Written in meters, Sam was 3.03. .03. So we had three ones, three metres effectively, no tenths, three hundredths, and three thousandths. Sid was three whole metres, three tenths of a metre, no hundredths, and three thousandths. And Seth was three whole ones, three tenths, three hundredths, and no thousandths. To compare these numbers, you simply have to look at the most significant digit first, the ones furthest to the left, because the ones on the left are bigger than the ones on the right. Each time you go to the next column, it gets 10 times bigger, 10 times bigger, and 10 times bigger again. So we start by looking at whole ones. Each of the snakes is three whole meters, so we can't tell the difference with just that column. So now we need to look at the next column. Here we can see that Sam has no tenths, but Sid and Seth have three. So Sid and Seth are bigger than Sam. We don't have to look at any of the numbers to know that Sam is the smallest because he has no tenths. So no matter what comes afterwards, he's never gonna be bigger than Sid and Seth who have three tenths. We look at the next number, we can now see that Seth is bigger than Sid. They both have the same number of whole ones, they both have the same number of tenths, but Seth has three thousandths and Sid has none. We don't have to look any further to know that Seth is the largest. It's irrelevant what comes next, because no matter how many thousandths Sid has, he's never gonna be a bigger number than Seth, because Seth had three hundredths and Sid had none. So the fact that Sid has three in this column and Seth has zero in this column doesn't matter because three thousandths are not as big as three hundredths. So if you're going to, solve, so if you're going to solve place value problems like this and you're comparing numbers, draw yourself a number grid. So if you're going to solve problems by comparing numbers, then I would recommend drawing yourself a place value grid, plotting the numbers, and then you start comparing them from left to right. I'm going to throw in here an additional problem for the reds to try to solve. Which would be bigger now? 3.3 meters, 3.03 meters, or 3.303 meters. The problem can be solved in exactly the same way. It doesn't matter that the number of decimal points are different. Sam has three whole ones and three tenths. Sid has three whole ones, no tenths, and three hundredths. And Seth has three whole ones, three tenths, no hundredths and three thousandths in this example, which is different to the example before. Here we can see, by comparing the first column 
that they all have the same number of whole ones. So we look to the next column, and now we can eliminate Sid. Because Sid has no tenths, and Sam and Seth both have three tenths. We now look to the next column. We've already eliminated Sid, and we're trying to see who's bigger or smaller. Well, Seth has zero tenths, but Sam also has zero tenths. There's nothing written here. So we could, if we wanted to, put a place value holder in to make it easier to see that those numbers are the same. So we have to look to the thousandths column. And here we can see that Seth has three thousandths, whereas Sam has none. So Seth is bigger than Sam. If you're comparing decimals where you have a different number of decimal points, don't be put off. Just put zeros in to hold the place value and it'll become much clearer. So now you've had a go at solving the problem with the snakes. I've got some questions for you going from easy to hard, green are the easiest, red are the hardest. Choose whichever questions are relevant for you, the ones which will give you the most enjoyment and the most fulfillment in doing. Don't pick something which is too easy because you're not going to learn anything. Don't pick something which is too hard to get frustrated. Just pick the ones which you know that you'll achieve if you really, really try hard and there's a good challenge for you. Our snakes are going to come back and slither around the screen, hit pause at any point, solve the problems. When you're done, come back, hit play, and we'll discuss the solutions. Good luck. Let's have a look at the solutions to the problems. As always, I will answer the green section with the green pen, the blue section with the blue pen, and the red section with the red pen, so you can fast forward to the selection which is relevant for you. Number one, let's see which was bigger, three or five. Here's three, one, two, three. Here's five, one, two, three, four, five. And we can see that 5 is bigger than 3. Number 2, which is bigger, 30 or 50. For this, I'm going to use the 10 coins to make the numbers. Here's 30, 10, 20, 30. And here's 50. 10, 20, 30. 40, 50. 50 is bigger than 30. Notice the similarity between this question and the question before. If 5 is bigger than 3, then 50 will be bigger than 30, because the same number of coins were used in both questions. It's just in the first question, each coin was worth 1, and in the second question, each coin was worth 10. 33 or 53, which is bigger? Let's make the numbers. See that 55 is bigger than 33. In fact, we didn't even need to look at the ones because there were more tens in this number than there were in this number. So it didn't matter how many ones there were because tens are bigger than ones. Number four, which is bigger? 35 or 53? Let's make 35. So that's the number 35. Now let's make the number 53. And here we can see that 53 is bigger than 35. It doesn't matter that there's more ones in this number than this number because tens are bigger than ones, so we only need to compare the tens. There are five tens here, and there are three tens there. So 53 is bigger than 35. Number five, which is bigger? 
35 or 33? Let's make the numbers. Here's 35 or 33. And here we can see that 35 is bigger than 33. They have the same number of tens, so we have to compare the ones column. This number has five ones and this number has three ones, so this number is bigger. 35 is bigger. It might also help to compare this number on a place value grid. 35 or 33. We need to compare the biggest column first, but they are the same. So we look at the next column and we can see that this is bigger than this. So 35 is bigger than 33. For our final question, I'm just going to use a place value grid, but if you want to, you can also use the coins if it helps you. We're comparing the numbers 68 and 65. 68 is made up of 6 tens and 8 ones, and 65 is made up of 6 tens and 5 ones. We compare the most significant numbers first, significant digits. So the digits in our tens column are the same. They both have six tens. So we have to look to our ones column to see which is the larger number now. And eight is bigger than five, so 68 is bigger than 65. Let's have a look at the answers to the blue section. Number seven, we're comparing the number 400 or 404. Let's do this one with the coins. The number 400 is made like this, and the number 404 is made like this. They're very similar. They both have 400, but this one has another four ones. So 404 is bigger than 400. We could also see this in a place value grid. 400 has four hundreds and no tens and no ones, but 404 has four hundreds, no tens and four ones. If we're comparing those numbers, we start by looking at the most significant digit, but they are the same. So we look at the next column, they are also the same. So we go to our last column and we can see that this number has four more than this one. So 404 is bigger than 400. Number eight. Which number is bigger, 400 and four, 440? Well, 440 will be bigger than 400 in the same way that 404 is bigger than 400. 440 has 400, but it also has four tens, which makes it bigger than 400, which has no tens. Number nine, which is bigger, 440 or 404? For this one, let's use a place value grid. Here's 440, here is 404. We start by comparing the most significant digits, the hundreds, but they are the same. So we go to the next column and we see this number has four tens and this has no tens. So this top number must be bigger than this one. It doesn't matter how many units there are because tens are bigger than ones. 440 is bigger than 404. You can also show this with place value coins. And you can see that 440 is bigger than 404 because although they have the same number of hundreds, tens are bigger than ones. Number 10. We will use a place value grid for this. This question goes into the thousands, so we will need a thousands column as well, as our hundreds, tens, and ones. The first number is 4,044, and the second number is 4,404. We start by comparing the most significant digit, but the thousands are the same. 
So we look at the next column and we see that this number has four hundreds and that has none. So we don't have to look any further. We know that the second number is bigger. Number 11. Again, let's use a place value grid to show the answer. If ever you're stuck with comparing numbers, always draw a place value grid. It always makes it so much easier. The first number is 5,505. The second number is 5,055. Let's compare our thousands first. They're the same. So we compare our hundreds. The top one has 500. The second one has no hundreds. The top number is the biggest. We don't have to compare any other numbers. In our last question, we have four numbers to compare and we have to find the largest. I'm going to use place value grid for that again. There are four digit numbers, so we need four column headings. Ones, tens, hundreds and thousands. These are the numbers we were given. 6,066, 6,606, 6,006, 6,060. It doesn't matter how many numbers you have, the method is the same. Start by comparing the most significant digit, which is the thousands. And in this case, they're all the same. So we have to look to the next column, which is the hundreds. And immediately, our highest number stands out. Here it is. It's the only number which has six hundreds. All the others have zeros. So we can ignore all the other digits. We don't need to worry about those. This is the biggest number. 6,606. For the red section, we're going to use a place value grid to answer these questions. But we're dealing with decimals, so this time our column headings will be ones, tenths, hundredths, and thousandths. If you don't understand why these columns are tenths, hundreds, and thousandths, then I wouldn't do the red questions today, I'd do the blue ones. And come back to this when you've seen my lesson on fractions. But let's assume you do understand this and now let's look at comparing numbers. The first one was 5.50 compared against 5.05. But just like with any number, the method for comparing them is the same. You compare the most significant digit first. They both have five ones. So we move on to the next column. This number has five tenths. This has no tenths. So this first number is bigger. It doesn't matter what digits come afterwards. However, it is worth noting also that 50 is bigger than five. 50 hundredths is bigger than five hundredths. And that's another way of looking at it. Question 14 was very similar to question 13. It was just comparing 5.5 with 5.05, but the answer would be the same. 5.5 will be bigger because it has 5 tenths and this number has no tenths. Interestingly, 5.5 is exactly the same as 5.50. We can use a place value holder there to show that there are no hundredths, but it does not change the size of the number. For question 15, we were comparing 5.505 with 5.055. So now we're introducing three digit numbers. But it doesn't matter how long a number is, how many digits it has, if it's a decimal, it's where those numbers are that gives it its size. So we compare the units column first as always, they are the same. And we look to the tenths column and this still has more tenths than this one. So this number is bigger. It has makes no difference whatsoever what the other numbers are because these are smaller than these. And the answer is 5.505. 
Number 16, we're comparing 5.505 with 5.05. And here we can see that this top number is still bigger because it's still got 5 tenths and this one still has none. It's irrelevant how many digits this has after the decimal point. That's not what's making the number bigger necessarily than the one below it. It's the where, the, where they are in which column makes the difference. Number 17, we're changing the numbers now. We have four numbers to compare. 4.404, 4 4.040, and 4.004. So whenever you're comparing numbers in this way, you're not sure what to do. I recommend drawing a grid, a place value grid like this. Start by comparing the most significant digit, which in this case is the ones. They all have four ones. So now we look at the next column, the tenths. Now here we can see that this number doesn't have any tenths and this number doesn't have any tenths either. So these two numbers are bigger. This has four tenths and this has four tenths. But because they have the same number of ones and the same number of tenths, then at the moment these two numbers are the same. So let's look to the hundredths column. And now we can see that this has no hundredths and this has four hundredths. So that is smaller and that one is the largest. It doesn't matter what's in the thousandths column, it's irrelevant. Four point four four zero is the biggest number. Now let's finish by looking at number 18. Whenever you're comparing numbers, the first thing to do is to line them all up with each other. One underneath the other, very carefully and accurately. So we've got 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6, 6.6,
in that last question that 6.66 was bigger than 6.06666. It didn't matter how many digits there were. What mattered was this had six tenths and this had no tenths. Now there is something which we haven't discussed today to do with comparing numbers, but it is important. And that is this notation. So quite often you see these symbols. It means less than or equal to or greater than. And you use them depending on whether numbers are bigger than the other, smaller than the other, or the same. For example, if you look at this equation, 2 add 3, and on the other side you've got 7 take away 2, the answer to both of those are 5. 2 add 3 is 5, 7 take away 2 is 5, so those two sides are equal. So you would use an equal sign to show that they are the same. So whenever you use an equal sign, it's not because you're writing an answer, it's because you're showing that both sides are the same. One side is equal to the other side. But sometimes the sides aren't equal. Look at these numbers, for instance, you've got 3 and 5. 3 is less than 5, so you wouldn't use an equal sign, you would use a less than sign. 3 is less than 5. Now one way of remembering this is to pretend that the signs are like crocodiles, and the crocodiles are hungry so they would eat the larger number. So if it's written the other way around, 5 and 3, then 5 would be greater than 3, so you have the symbol going in the opposite direction. The mathematical way of looking at it is the symbol with the large part is going to be pointing to the larger number, and the symbol with the narrow side is going to point to the smaller number. So just to make sure you can use these symbols correctly, these inequalities, then we're going to have a little quiz to finish today. I'm going to show you three sets of numbers in increasing difficulty, green, blue and red, and you're going to have 10 seconds to say which one is bigger but also try and write it down and use the correct symbol. So find a piece of paper, something to write with, get ready, here it comes. And the answer is this. 45 is less than 54, because that has four tens and that has five tens. Slightly trickier one now. Get ready. answer is this. 7.707 is greater than 7.07 .07 because although both numbers have seven ones, this number has seven tenths and that has no tenths. Last question, saving the trickiest one to the end. The answer is this number is bigger than this one. Because although that has more digits, if we look at how significant the digits are, they both have four ones, they both have zero tenths, but this has four hundredths, whereas this only has three hundredths. So this number is larger. So hopefully you found today's lesson really useful and really enjoyable, and hopefully now you can compare numbers of all sorts of shapes and sizes. Tomorrow we're going to be looking at rounding numbers, so I look forward to seeing you then.